Ruby Chicker Alligator, which was over here. Right, actually, yeah, it's right here. And she ran with it to her house. I know I found her last one, I think, once in a row. I don't know how she did it. So she might not pouch things a lot, but when she finds something really good, she tries to put it in her house. Just like those big twigs that I have that are covered in apple, she tries to stick those in her house too. I'm surprised the flash isn't freaking her out. I had to put it on because her cage is too dark in this corner. You're silly, Ruby. What? Am I disturbing you? We actually have her cage open waiting for her to come out. Because what she does is she, when her door is open, she kind of comes up and climbs out. Then I pick her up. Yeah, you can have your alligator later. And then we'll see what Brownie does with hers. And Brownie's chewing the alligator. Here's her sign. So I use this ribbon to attach it to the grid. I was going to put it underneath and let the lid hold on to it, but I figured why not put it in the grids. She occasionally decides to make a hole here and like hang out. I think that's pee because she's been hanging out down there. And then she was there and I tapped this lightly. Well, I thought it was lightly. I went like this and like she flung out of there and like ran to the other side of the cage. So then I pet her. And then she decided to come over here and start chewing on the alligator. And that's the story. I don't have the flash on, so I won't scare her. And she's not looking at us. Do you like it? I think she likes it. I'm gonna go downstairs and wash my hands and then try to take her out. Because I smell like chocolate. <laughs> it's already tried to nibble on me. So, the alligator was a hit. Ruby's still asleep, so I put one in her cage too. And the dwarfs have a toothbrush each. You have your back towards us. Hmm? Oh, she really likes it. And there's her sinky house. And there's me dropping stuff. Okay, so this is just a quick video of Brownie being Brownie. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.